six, enthusiasm as a creative force. Today, we're channeling our inner muse and unlocking the creative power. Of enthusiasm, ready to turn your passionate energy into a fountain of innovation? Let's dive in. Now, enthusiasm isn't just an emotion. It's a catalyst for creativity. When we're enthusiastic, our minds become fertile grounds for ideas to blossom. But how do we harness this force constructively? Enthusiasm can be a bit like a wild garden beautiful and full of potential, yet without direction, it can grow unruly. The question is, how do we harness this force constructively? How do we till the soil of our enthusiastic minds to cultivate a harvest of ideas? Think of your enthusiasm as a sun, vital for growth, but only effective if you plant seeds. The seeds are your ideas, your dreams, your what ifs. Your job is to sow these seeds thoughtfully, water them with attention, and then let the warmth of your enthusiasm nourish them to fruition. Constructive harnessing of enthusiasm begins with intentionality. It's about directing your energy, not just to any task, but to meaningful endeavors that align with your bigger picture. It's about recognizing when that energy is bubbling up and having a system in place to channel it. Now, create an ideal journal. Whenever you feel a surge of enthusiasm, jot down whatever ideas come to mind, no matter how big or small. Regularly revisit these ideas, and when one resonates with you, flesh it out. What steps would turn this idea into reality? Who would be involved? What resources would be required? It's also crucial to understand that not all ideas will take root. And that's okay. The goal is not to bring every single idea to life, but to cultivate the ground for the best ones to emerge. It's about quality, not quantity. And let's not forget about collaboration. Sometimes the best way to harness enthusiasm constructively is to share it. Bouncing up ideas off others can give them new life, or reveal which ones are best left on the drawing board as we learn to harness our enthusiasm constructively. Our creative endeavors become more focused, more impactful, and ultimately more rewarding. It's not just about having ideas, it's about bringing the right ideas to life in the right way. To use enthusiasm as a creative force, we must first create the right conditions for it to thrive. Here's a practical tip. Start with your environment. Set up a creative space that reflects your enthusiastic energy. Fill it with items that inspire you, whether it's art, quotes, or anything that fuels your creative fire. Here's another tip. Schedule regular creative sessions where you allow yourself to explore new ideas without judgment or restraint. Use this time to write the waves of your enthusiasm and see where it takes you. Now, let's explore some techniques to translate this energy into tangible ideas. Mind mapping is a fantastic way to visually organize your thoughts. Start with a central concept and branch out into related ideas, allowing your enthusiasm to guide the flow. Brainstorming is another technique. It's all, and it's about quality versus quality at first, quantity. 
allow your enthusiastic energy to generate multiple of ideas, no matter how outlandish they may seem. You can choose a topic you're passionate about and create a mind map. Begin in the center with your main idea and expand outward with every related thought that comes to mind. Use colors, images, and words to build a visual rep rep representation of your enthusiasm fueled creativity. Remember, creativity fueled by enthusiasm doesn't always look orderly. It can be chaotic, but within that chaos lies the potential for groundbreaking ideas. As we ride the wave of our enthusiasm, we must be prepared for a journey that isn't always smooth sailing. Creativity isn't a linear process. It's often messy, unpredictable, and yes, chaotic. But it's important to embrace this chaos because that's where true innovation often lies. Enthusiasm can lead to a world with ideas where one thought sparks another and another sometimes without clear direction. This can feel disorganized, even overwhelming, but within this whirlwind, there's raw potential. The trick is, is not to suppress the chaos, but to navigate it. Imagine each thread of thought as a stream of water in a vast ocean of creativity. Individually, they may seem to surge in all directions, but together, they form a powerful current that can carry you to new horizons. The, the chaotic of the, the chaos of enthusiastic creativity is more, much more like this ocean, wild and untamed, but also deep and full of treasures. Here's a practical exercise. Allow yourself to dive into this creative chaos with an idea storm. Set a timer for 15 minutes or record it and write down or record every idea that comes to mind. Without judgment, later revisit this storm, it's recording and look for patterns or ideas that stand out. These could be the seeds of something groundbreaking. This process is about finding order in the chaos, discovering the connections between seemingly desperate ideas. It's about trusting that your enthusiasm will not just generate a multitude of thoughts, but that it will eventually guide you to those thoughts that truly matter. So remember, when you're in the thick of creative thick chaos, you might be on the brinks of discovery. The next great idea could be hidden within that tangible of thoughts waiting for you to uncover it. Keep faith in the creative process and don't be afraid to embrace the disorder that comes with enthusiastic idealization. It's all about the journey towards innovation and discovery. Embrace your enthusiastic creativity and don't be afraid to follow it into uncharted territories. Who knows what innovations await? Here's some book recommendations. To further enhance your creative journey, The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron is a transformative guide that provides techniques to unlock your creative potential. That's it for this episode. Harness the force of your enthusiasm and let it lead you to creative heights. Join us next time on the Controlled Enthusiasm Podcast for more insight into making the most of your passion and passionate energy. Stay creative.